Walter Hilton c. March 1396 was an English Augustinian mystic, whose works became influential in the 15th century. Life Walter Hilton was born around 1340–45. Writing centuries later, an early 16th-century Carthusian, James Grenehalg, from Lancashire, referred to Hilton as a mystic coming from the same region. There is some presumptive evidence that Hilton received some education at the University of Cambridge. This would have occurred at some time between about 1360 and 1382. Walter de Hilton, Bachelor of Civil Law, Clerk of Lincoln Diocese, was granted the reservation of a canonry and prebend of Aberguili, Camarthen, in January 1371. In January 1371 Hilton was a Bachelor of Law attached to the diocesan court of Ely. Some manuscripts describe Hilton as a commensor or inceptor decretorum, I. E. He may have completed the studies and examinations that would have entitled him to become a master of canon law, but he did not undertake the regency that would have given him the title. In the early 1380s, Hilton turned away from the world and became a solitary, as he mentions in his earliest extant work, the Latin letter De Imagine Picati on the image of sin. Not long after, perhaps in 1384, Hilton states in a Latin epistle of spiritual counsel, De Utilitate et Prerogativis Religionis on the usefulness and prerogatives of religion, a.k.a. Epistola Aurea addressed to his friend Adam Horsley, a former officer of the Exchequer, who was about to enter the Carthusian order, that he is himself open to the possibility of joining a religious community, but is not yet certain of his vocation. Given that Horsley entered the community of Beauvale in 1386, it seems likely that it was around this date when Hilton joined a community 1386 is often suggested as the date of his entry as an Augustinian canon regular into Thurgarton Priory in Nottinghamshire. Between around 1386 and 1390, Hilton was probably the author of Epistola de Lecione, Intentione, Oricione, Meditazione et Alice Letter on Reading, Intention, Prayer, and Meditation, a brief treatise in English of Angels. Song, which criticizes one aspect of Richard Roll's spirituality, and the epistle on the mixed life which instructs a devout layman concerning wealth and household responsibility, advising him not to give up his active life to become a contemplative, but to mix the two. Because of strong echoes between the mixed life and the first of the two books of Hilton's major work, The Scale of Perfection, both were probably written about the same time, in the late 1380s. Hilton may also have translated The Pricking of Love also known as Stimulus Amoris, an expanded version of a book originally by the 13th-century Franciscan James of Milan, which by that time was passing under the name of Bonaventure, though this remains a matter of dispute, in his final years from c. 1390 until c. 1396, Hilton probably wrote his Latin letter Epistola ad quemdam seculo renunciare valentum to someone wanting to renounce the world, and a brief piece on scruples entitled Fermissum Creed. He produced the English version of Eight Chapters on Perfection, a translation of a now lost Latin work by the Franciscan Louis de Font or Louis de Fontibus, an Aragonese Franciscan who had a regency in theology at Cambridge in either 1391-3 or 1392-4. Also in this period, Hilton produced the second book of the Scale of Perfection. According to manuscript tradition, Hilton died on 24 March 1396 as an Augustinian canon regular at Thurgarton Priory. However, this manuscript was written much later than the history it reports, and it contains a number of historical mistakes. Works the first book of the Scale of Perfection the title is editorial, appearing only on half the manuscripts of Book I of the Scale is addressed to a woman recently enclosed as an anchoress, providing her with appropriate spiritual exercises. The bulk of its 93 chapters deal with the extirpation of the foul image of sin in the soul, the perversion of the image of the Trinity in the three spiritual powers of mind, reason and will reflecting the Father, Son and Holy Spirit respectively, according to a tradition drawn from St. Augustine through a series of meditations on the seven deadly sins. The second book, which opens by addressing itself to Hilton's former reader, who, he says, has further questions, seems from its style and content rather to be addressed to a larger, perhaps more sophisticated audience. Its major themes are reformation of the soul in faith alone and in both faith and feeling. The latter is described in an extended metaphor as a spiritual journey to Jerusalem, or 
peace in meditation, a gift which is also its own giver, Christ. The first book of the scale was apparently written some time before the second and was circulated independently. The mixed life occasionally appears with the scale in 15th century manuscripts, and was printed by De Word in 1494 as a third book of the scale, possibly at the desire of Lady Margaret, although the mixed life occurs in only half of the surviving copies of that printing. All later printings of the scale also included the mixed life. Hilton also wrote three other Latin letters of spiritual guidance, the Epistola de Lechoni, Intentione, Oricioni, Meditazione et Alice, the Epistola ad Quemdam Seculo Renunciare Valentum and Firmissum Creed, as well as a scholastic quotalibit on the appropriateness of reverence shown to images in churches, a practice criticized by Lollards. He also wrote commentaries on the psalm texts Key Habitat and Bonum Est Psalms 90.1 and 91.2, and perhaps on the Canticle Benedictus Luke 1 as well. <laughs> Later influence <laughs> Hilton's spiritual writings were influential during the 15th century in England. They were used extensively shortly after his death in the Speculum Spiritualium. The most famous was the Scale of Perfection, which survives in some 62 manuscripts, including 14 of a Latin translation the Liber de Nobilitate Anime made around 1400 by Hilton. S. Contemporary in Cambridge and Ely, the Carmelite friar Thomas Fishlake or Fislake. In this translation the scale became the first work written originally in English to circulate on the European continent. The scale and mixed life were printed by Wynken de Word in Westminster in 1494, at the request of Lady Margaret Beaufort, Countess of Richmond and Derby, mother of King Henry VII, and five more times before the English Reformation of the 1530s. With the revival of the Roman Catholic Church in England in the 19th century, a modernised version of a 1659 edition was issued by F. R. J. B. Dalgarns in 1870. Evelyn Underhill published an edition of the scale in 1923. Veneration <inaudible> 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 Hilton is honored in the Church of England on the 24th of March and in the Episcopal Church USA on the 28th of September together with Richard Roll and Marjorie Kemp. Topic: <laughs> Modern editions. Topic: Walter Hilton, The Scale of Perfection, edited by Thomas H. Bestool, Teams Middle English Text Series, Kalamazoo, Michigan, Medieval Institute Publications, 2000. The only modern edition of the original Middle English text The Scale of Perfection, edited by Halcyon Backhouse, London, Hodder and Stoughton, 1992. A translation based on Underhill's 1923 text Walter Hilton, The Scale of Perfection, translated by John P. H. Clarke and Rosemary Dorward, New York, Paulist Press, 1991. The most recent modern translation Walter Hilton's Latin Writings, ed. J. P. H. Clark and C. Taylor, Salzburg, Institut fur Anglistik und Amerikanistik, 1987 Walter Hilton's Mixed Life, edited from Lambeth Palace MS 472, ed. S. J. Ogilvy Thompson, Salzburg, Institut fur Anglistik und Amerikanistik, 1986. The Pricking of Love, ed. Harold Kane, 2 Vols, Salzburg, Institut fur Anglistik und Amerikanistik, 1983. Middle English edition of The Goat of Love. Two minor works of Walter Hilton, ed. Fumio Kuriagawa and Toshiyuku Takamiya, Tokyo, T. Takamiya, 1980. Editions of Of Angel's Song and Eight Chapters on Perfection The Scale of Perfection, abridged and presented by Ilted Trethauen London, Geoffrey Chapman, 1975. A translation based on Underhill's 1923 text The Ladder of Perfection, translated and introduced by Leo Shirley Price, Penguin Classics, 1957. A translation based on Underhill's 1923 text An Exposition of Key Habitat and Bonum Est in English, ed. Bjorn Wallner, Lund, C. W. K. Glierup, 1954. Walter Hilton, The Goat of Love, an unpublished translation by Walter Hilton, of the Stimulus Amoris formerly attributed to St. Bonaventura, edited and translated by Claire Kirchberger, London, Faber and Faber, 1952. 
a work previously attributed to Hilton The Scale of Perfection, Ed Evelyn Underhill, London, J. M. Watkins, 1923 Horstman, C. Ed., Yorkshire Writers, Richard Roll of Hampole, An English Father of the Church and His Followers, 2 Vols, London, S. Sonnenschein & Co., 1895 96. Includes editions of Hilton's of Angel's Song, 1 to 175 minus 82, and On the Mixed Life, 1 to 264 minus 92. Topic further reading: Topic Hoff, Margareta, Der Weg zur Christlichen Vollkommenheit. Eine Studie zu Walter Hilton auf dem Hintergrund der Romanischen Mystik Göttingen, Vandenhoek und Ruprecht, 2009. Forschungen zur Kirchen und Dogmengeschichte, 95. Bernard McGinn, The Varieties of Vernacular Mysticism, New York, Herder and Herder, 2012. Topic references topic topic External links topic Herbermann, Charles, ed. 1913. Walter Hilton. Catholic Encyclopedia. New York, Robert Appleton Company. Works by or about Walter Hilton at Internet Archive Works by Walter Hilton at LibriVox Public Domain Audiobooks. The Ladder of Perfection Walter Hilton and His Ladder of Perfection, Essay on Hilton's Spirituality, Treatment of His Pastoral Approach and Contribution to English Theological Approaches, links to his works available online. Introduction to the Bestool Edition of the Scale, Teams Middle English Text Series, University of Rochester, Russell Hope Robbins Library Scale I Text in the Original Middle English, Teams Middle English Text Series Scale 2 Text in the Original Middle English, Teams Middle English Text Series This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Herbermann, Charles, ed. 1913. Article name needed. Catholic Encyclopedia. New York, Robert Appleton.